Jamie's flame extinguisher, Adam and Jamie investigated the viability of fighting fires with sound waves. But what we didn't have time to show you was when they explored another fire phenomenon, the Rubens Tube. This is a stunning visual representation of a sound wave. Now let's fire it up and see what it does. All right. It's a classic physics experiment that has recently become an internet phenomenon. A length of pipe is perforated along the top and sealed at both ends. One seal is attached to a small speaker, the other to a supply of a flammable gas. The pipe is filled with the gas, and the gas leaking from the perforations is lit. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is called a Rubens tube, right? Yep, it's Rubens tube, all right. And what you're seeing is a standing wave rendered in fire. This is how it works. When the guys play a tone through the speaker, the sound wave enters the tube, and the confined space creates reflections and interference, which combine to create a standing wave. The standing wave affects the air pressure inside the tube, which affects the amount of gas coming out of each perforation, which affects the size of each individual flame. And what we're looking at is areas of higher and lower compression being made by the sound waves down the tube affecting how much gas comes out of each hole. If you keep the frequency constant, you can determine the wavelength by simply measuring it with a ruler. And if you think it looks familiar, it probably is. Rubin's tubes have been around since 1905, when Heinrich Rubin fired up the first. Look at that. Yeah, we're watching the waves pile up. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> that worked. That is very, very, very cool. I had not imagined that there was such a clear visual representation of a sound.